Welcome to module two of using educational technology in the English language classroom. This module is all about vocabulary, about words. They're essential for communication. How exciting is that? You will discover how you can use technology in your classroom to help your students improve their vocabulary. Carol will begin the lecture by highlighting the connection between technology and vocabulary in today's world. She will then invite vocabulary expert, Professor Jim Ranali, to provide his insight on vocabulary learning and advice for teachers. Next, we will hear from two former English language learners who are now teachers and researchers of vocabulary learning. Technology is central to their work. Finally, we will take a closer look at using technology for young learners with Sinem Sonsat Hegelheimer from the Young Learners team. Be sure to visit the vocabulary resource corner for readings, additional technology tools, open educational resources for teaching vocabulary, and demonstrations of how teachers use these tools. In this module, we also included several English vocabulary lists for a variety of teaching contexts. All these materials will help you create a vocabulary activity for your learners. In this module, we'll be looking at how English language learners use technology for learning vocabulary. We'll start out by looking at the connection between technology and vocabulary today. Then we'll meet our vocabulary expert, Professor Jim Rinali. I'm gonna ask Jim why vocabulary is so important for students to learn. And then we'll ask him what teachers should know about vocabulary to help their students. And we'll get some specific advice. Finally, We'll hear from three teachers and researchers to provide examples of how technology is being used for vocabulary learning. There are important connections between technology and vocabulary. Technology provides access to many different ways for students to study vocabulary. Also, teachers can find many resources to help teach vocabulary on the internet. Let's start by taking a look at an example from the Voice of America website in a section called News Words. In this section, the teachers have identified important words in news stories, and they have created mini lessons about those words. For example, on the main page, we see some words that students might want to learn from many different types of news stories. One of the news stories was about a new robot that was built for manufacturing cars. A robot is a machine that performs actions similar to the actions of a person. In the story, they call this new robot a prototype. And the lesson focuses on the word prototype. This is a really useful word for students to learn in English. The video includes a teacher who explains the word. The video uses the word in context. A prototype will begin testing by carrying car parts around the Tesla factory. The reporters give a two-part definition. First, what is a prototype? A prototype is a first, especially as a machine, from which other forms are developed or copied. Second, what is it used for? A prototype is used to test a new idea or way of doing something. And the students also have a chance to look at the word, see it in context, and hear it when they listen to the story. This is a great start for learning a word. So this is just one example of the kinds of vocabulary learning opportunities that we can find on the internet. Let's learn more about teaching and learning from our vocabulary expert, Professor Rinali.